Hi Radio Disney, this is Maria Canals Barrera. I love and I'm very proud to have played two amazing Hispanic characters on Disney Channel. Connie Torres in Camp Rock and Teresa Russo on Wizards of Waverly Place. And I'm her daughter Bridget. And in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, we will be sharing with you guys what our Hispanic culture means to our family. Being a part of a wonderful story where the character was first and foremost a loving, devoted mother, fun mother, that also happened to be of Hispanic heritage. It was really terrific because that's so common. You see it everywhere in life, um, at school and PTA meetings and uh, working at the store and the doctor's office and the lawyer and the but you don't see enough of it in uh, TV. So I just really love that Disney has been aware of incorporating the Hispanic character as just part of the American family. Well, remember when you snuck up on, uh, oh, that was so cute. Uh, the Jonas Brothers, was Kevin Jonas was being interviewed on the set of the first Camp Rock. And uh, Bridget was like so comfortable around them because they're the sweetest I boys. I love them so much. And Demi was so sweet too. Oh, and JT Austin, I, we had so much fun oh, like Jay. messing around with him. And on Wizards, Selena was so sweet to you guys. She loves kids and she was very tender. I remember Demi being very impressed with your singing when you were, I, I let her hear some warm ups that you were doing and you were tiny. She was like, wow, she's got a great set of pipes. And coming from Demi, that's, that's, that's a huge compliment. <laughs> My favorite part of Wizards and Camp Rock was just being able to grow up like super young. I wish that they could see like how I saw them when I was younger. I loved them so much and wanted to do everything they were doing. And their, again, their drive and- and Their talent. And their, their talent. For being so young, the talent is- Was so inspiring to me. The first song that I learned um, and sang in front of people was This Is Me in my kindergarten variety show <laughs> at my elementary school. And now you, you're singing it yes. in Spanish, which is so cool. Yes. And it's just so sweet for me to see how you sang it when you were five and now you just turned 17 and you're gonna sing it again and in Spanish, which is really great for mm -hmm. Hispanic yeah. Heritage Month. Very cool for me too. Spanish adds so much to that song, you know? Just, it's already so beautiful, but it like pulls out another layer of it that yeah. is just so cool. I have to say the dancing, specifically of uh, the Cuban Hispanic culture, the dancing is huge. There's always dancing at all the birthday parties, even if you're a little kid, you know, there's like clear the floor, Yeah, it's time for the dancing. The Mexican side of our Hispanic heritage um, has tamales during Christmas time, and they're really nice because they're, the, the Cuban tamales have a lot of like cornmeal, which is delicious, and that's what I was used to. But I, I, I really like also the Mexican style tamales because they have the, a thin layer of cornmeal, and they have that hot, spicy stuff in it, which I happen to love. The tamale making is not just a food, it is a, a ritual, it is a bonding experience. It is something that is incorporates the younger generations. You teach them how to make it. It's very, very sweet, and it's something I learned from my husband's Mexican heritage. Two people that I love, Rosalia, she's so amazing and stands alone, in my opinion. She, Her voice is so, distinct and beautiful and complex with her little runs and everything. She's from Spain. Right, and her, she incorporates like flamenco vibes into all of her music and it's just so beautiful and like, ah, uh, makes me feel a certain way, you know what I mean? Someone that I look up to the most is Selena Q, Selena Quintanilla. She's so amazing and I love her for so many reasons. I find that when I listen to her a lot, then I like sound better because I feel like her voice is just purely herself, you know? Yeah. You know that Selena Gomez was named after Selena Quintanilla. Yeah. I remember asking her, Were you, did your parents name you after Selena, the Tejano singer? She said, yeah. So that's really cool that both of those Selenas are, are such a big influence on you. It's really yeah. wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. 
Please share with us what you love about your Hispanic heritage. And please check out my Spanish cover of This Is Me from Camp Rock on Radio Disney.